Hello everybody, my name is Tubusplut and welcome to a Fallout 4 how-to video. I don't know. Um, so about for a month or so I was running into the zero kilobyte error issue. Um, and I will put a screenshot of the error message here in this video. And basically what this video, or what this error is saying, that there's not enough room on the hard drive, you need to free up zero kilobytes of space. Um, there's not enough room on the hard drive. Um, and I'm making this video because it seems like there's not a lot of people who have found a solution or I or that really tells you what is wrong um, for the most part it is just either people have a lot of mods or there's mods that conflict with each other and you might be running into this issue for me personally because I don't play with mods um, and that's another topic for another time is I own a lot of creation club creations you'll see here in a second I own a lot of creation club I own majority of the dogs I own like every power weapon I own like every paint job for power armors weapons um, and armor and I think because for Sony at least and I think Xbox does it but they give you more space for Sony anyway they allocate so much space to mods, and I think Creation Club creations also fit under that category. Um, to those said, to that said space, and I ran out of room on mine, and I kept getting this whole zero kill by issue. So I read, I deleted the game, reinstalled it, and I only re-downloaded what I found necessary. So like I have the anti-material, all the workshop stuff um i do have one dog i have captain cosmos chinese stealth armor the graphic t-shirts the horse and the hellfire power armors um then i only own the oh yeah and then like the gauss rifle tunnel snakes and then i only own or i only redownloaded the uh faction paint jobs for weapons and armor um like to because to me that's like what i find necessary in order to do the rest of my playthroughs and personally i only have like a two like couple more i need to do i need to do like an institute ending character playthrough and uh i want to do like a radiation focused character but anyway um so I get I only redownloaded those and it seemed to work. And from what I found on like place on Bethesda forums, people are have running into this issue, deleting their game, deleting their save data, and then redownloading it all, including all their mods and any creation club that they have, and it's not doing anything. You're just like I don't know really how to describe it. You're almost like taking a bandage off and then putting the same band-aid back on. It's not... You're not gaining anything. Um, you're not eliminating the problem. So... Like I ran into like one forum where pe somebody had like 20 mods on. And it's like, uh, yeah, that would totally screw something up. But again, I'm... I play mod free um, for trophies, but Creation Club totally, totally messed me up. And I, I wish now that I run into this issue and I was able to solve it. And I wish they had it with when the Creation Club first came out, is the ability to turn off Creation Club items, whether it's for every character file that you have, you can turn off or turn on whatever ones you want. Or just like here in general, and or even like a different tab in Creation Club, like you could turn off whatever Creation Club items you want turned off. 
um, or you can turn them on whenever you want. I wish that was a thing, but I don't know if Bethesda would at this point um, do that. I wish they would because it would make things a lot easier and you could still have all that stuff downloaded, it just would be turned off or on at your will. Or again, personalized it so like if you're wanting to do a Minuteman playthrough or excuse me, a Brotherhood of Steel, you could turn on just the Brotherhood of Steel weapon paints um, and the armor paint jobs or having certain dogs or something like that because otherwise like when you make a new file that you own like every creation club thing you get bombarded with quests at the beginning and it's really overwhelming at least for me so I wish that they had a thing where you could like like a giant checklist like um at least on Skyrim on PC I can only speak from experience like they have a thing where you could check on and off whatever mods you want on at this time and you I wish they would do the same thing with Fallout on consoles um, I think that would be a great solution for this so yeah um, I think the other way I've seen people like go like kind of like go around this whole zero kill by issue is that they turn off autosave so they don't keep getting the error pop up but you're again not solving the issue you're only delaying the inevitable plus like whenever because even when I save like it would still say that there was an issue saving the hard drive and I would come back out here to the main menu hit continue and it would be like oh it can reach this file or there's some error with the hard drive and no there isn't and I would know because I went out bought and replaced my hard drive and more or less I was down 160 bucks down the hole um, so and realizing it was more of a game issue rather than a console issue so do as I say not as I do um, more or less so I hope er you guys found this video helpful if you're running to the zero kill by error um, I know I was elated when I found that this was a thing this guy had too much creation club stuff and I haven't seen a whole lot of issues solving this I haven't, I haven't found a whole lot of videos or just like in general anything solving this issue um, I mean I don't think obviously if you're on PC you shouldn't be running into this issue but uh, for your own consoles you definitely could strongly be running into this so um yeah so again i hope I, I hope if you found this video enjoyable please drop a like on this video and otherwise uh thank you everybody so much for watching i'll catch you guys next time